Hello everybody, my name is Star Raptor and welcome to the channel. I got this review up a little bit later than I wanted to for Star Wars Resistance Season 1 Episode 7 Sonora Score because, well, I was at a rock concert over the weekend and I sang my head off at the top of my lungs and I'm just getting over getting my voice back. So, here we go. We were talking about Sonora Score. This is an episode all about the pirates attacking the Colossus and this entire episode is almost pretty much one big action set piece which is something we have not seen to this caliber in the series yet so let's just dig right into it right off the bat I want to just talk about the action I thought the action was really good you had action on different fronts with Tamar Vora and Sonar then you had Yeager then you had Kaz they're all trying their best to defend against the Colossus because the turrets were down and the aces were gone, so the pirates were left open to attack next to Sonar, who is now a spy for the pirates on the Colossus. So you have that all going on. I liked seeing the pirates and their different armor pieces. I think they look really cool from a design set, uh, set point. I mean, you have different kind of species, which I really enjoyed, like the Trandoshan with the Electro Staff thing. That was really cool. Then you had that Hisk monkey-looking thing, and then the Quarren leader there. So everybody had their own uh, part to play. It was very dangerous. There was lots of risk involved, which I really enjoyed. I also liked how we see how this moment really affects the future of this series because we have Captain Doza witnessing this pirate attack firsthand and, and, and seeing how much damage so quickly that these pirates were able to dish out to the Colossus. So he has made out a communique to none other than Commander Pirate saying, I want to look at your proposal. We kind of need help. I didn't think we needed it before, but this is getting worse and worse all the time. So it's going to be interesting to see the First Order coming down to the Colossus um, in hopefully the next couple episodes and seeing how that kind of resolves itself. Um, speaking of the Colossus, I did enjoy seeing um, a different aspect of the Colossus that we haven't seen before, and that's the Salvage Yard. I like how Resistance is constantly pushing for new locations in every episode, it seems so far, to really just give us an overarching kind of look at life on the Colossus. And speaking of life, I like how they kind of make this look like a living world. I mean, if you notice in the background of one of the scenes, you actually see uh, Rucklin, who was a character from Feel for the Fire earlier in the season. So they have characters that we've met already before just doing stuff in the background, which to me makes it more look like like a living world. So I really appreciated that. I like how we got more information on Tamar Vor. We're really going into her backstory recently. We learned why she ended up on the classes the way she is, working as a mechanic, because, well, she bet everything on this race, including her ship. So that's why she's kind of stranded on this station to make up enough money because she lost so that to me was pretty interesting there and I do like seeing Nuku I think Nuku really just amps up the show even more from every time he's in an episode I like it even more um, and speaking of the episode I mean I did like this episode I didn't think it was the best episode yet it definitely wasn't the worst episode it was kind of somewhere in the middle but I want to know what you guys thought of this episode so let's talk about it in the comment section below I do this every single week that a resistance episode comes out so if you want to join the discussion make sure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss another video I also do Star Wars weekly videos that I talk about the comics the news and more so make sure you check those out as well my name is Star Raptor thank you for watching and may the force be with you always Thanks for checking out the video. Please hit that thumbs up symbol. It helps me know that I'm making content that you guys enjoy. And if you enjoyed this video, I also include two videos down below you guys should check out. And please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps support me and it notifies you guys of when I get new videos up on the channel. You can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Star Raptor.